Okay, Mud, here's a picture of Chris and Brittany from the wedding shower this weekend. And I want to download this photo into my computer so I can print it. Any idea? Yes. So you know your charger? Yes, the thing I use to plug my yeah. phone in to charge it. Correct. Mm -hmm. So you unplug the adapter, the big part of the charger. I had no idea that came up. It's amazing. And mm -hmm. in, you unravel, in your case, untangle the cord. And then this side, obviously, fits into it's in here, like when I'm charging it. Yeah. And this, see on this side, there's a whole bunch of holes. holes. Yeah. So find a hole that fits. Yeah. The next. So yeah. it only fits one side. Correct. And, well, see, and so why did it buzz? So what happened here, when you heard the click, Two things were happening. One was activating a recognition with the charger, the, the laptop charger. By the way, this is actually now powering your um, iPhone. So sometimes you don't have um, a plug. This thingy. Yep. You can actually use your laptop to charge your phone. Oh, wow. Amazing. Oh, if yeah. there's juice in the laptop. Okay. So what has come up here is your iPhoto. Right, but, but did I have to push iPhoto no. on my computer? No. It automatically is set to open up your iPhone because it's an, it's an Apple product. So it downloads it automatically? It doesn't download it automatically, it, it activates it. it, got it, opens it. So do you see what this says? Import photos. Well wait, but when I plug it in, do my contacts, like everything on my phone download into this because I have a gazillion contacts and I don't want them on my computer? Two part answer, in this case we're just concentrating on iPhoto, but Actually, you can set it to automatically download, but that's a whole other thing. Okay. So this is just photos. I push import photos? Yes. Okay. Right? See, now it's importing, and you have a lot to download because you haven't done this in a while, I assume, or someone hasn't done it for you for a while. Okay, that's so it. if you stop it, you it gives you, see, it gives you a choice. Yeah. Keep uh, photos or delete photos? I strongly recommend that you keep the photos until you have seen whether this is actually downloaded correctly mm -hmm. and if you've backed up your laptop. I don't, I've never backed up no. <laughs> So in that case, just keep the photos and then you still have them on here, but eventually you will have to delete photos because people use this constantly as a camera now, so it fills up all the space. I see. But I can keep the ones of Jack on there that I want to brag. Correct. Okay. Correct. Got it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unravel the cord, mm -hmm. take off the thingy. And not lose surprise. the thingy. Not lose the thingy. And then I'm going to plug it in the hole, plug in the one that fits mm -hmm. on the side. It's going to automatically start downloading into mm -hmm. here. I don't have to push iPhoto on my computer. It'll just pop up. Correct. Right? Then I push import photos. Then after they're imported, it'll say, Keep photos or delete photos, and I keep the photos. Correct. Right now, keep photos. Yeah. Because I want to keep them on my phone mm -hmm. and have them on my laptop. Yes. I get it. And then I just learn how to print it out. Yes, that's a whole other thing. Okay. okay. Thanks, Mom. Pleasure.